Moving into public health, we can connect the secondaries and the hot and cold water to our heat interface unit. So effectively, you are tapping in your main system to your appliances. Here we have dishwasher, sinks, toilets, etc. Um, yet to pipe up the shower. And also we've got our hot water connection, which is served as an entry point. So the cold feed is effectively a load. So you start at the load end and connect into the pipe run. When you run the hot water circuit, that is effectively the entry point of the system. So again, to select your pipe selection rule on the entry point of this system, there's the information there on the cold feed and the hot water feed. So the hot water feed basically is the pipe type is basically determined from the general information for the hot system. So these pipe selection rules relate to the hot and cold water services on the output from the heat interface unit. Irrespective of the number of appliances you have, it strictly looks at the tables from the codes of practice. So no matter how appliances you have, it'll just be based on the number of uh, bathrooms or uh, single appliance or number of bedrooms. So it uses the codes of practice to determine the diversified loads um, to the heat interface unit on the landlord supply uh, pipe work uh, setup.